thousand percent recommend doing the zombies challenge over the MP challenge because the zombies challenge is just so much quick. Boom. All right, and welcome back, guys. If you're currently watching this video, that means the brand new year two content for Cold War and Cold War Zombies has been released as in game and is unlockable. That being the Vargo 52, the brand new AR. In this video, we're going to be showing you all three methods of unlocking it, which one I recommend and which one is the fastest. Starting off, you guys all know the easiest method that takes like no time is just buying the bundle. With this, they released a Mastercraft bundle that costs $24. With it, you get three blueprints, one being for the AR. You get some charms. I think you get a calling card and a reticle. We're going to be doing a full review of this Mastercraft bundle, testing out zombies, MP, all the camos and stuff if you want to view that, but that's for a different video. Moving into how you can unlock this weapon for free, because I know most people aren't going to want to pay for it, that being the MP challenge. And this challenge reads off in multiplayer, using an assault rifle, deal a thousand damage in 15 different completed matches. And this is Cold War. The unfortunate thing about Cold War is it is completed matches. You are not allowed to back out of games, so you're going to have to set up a class and it is going to require you to play the full length of 15 different games and that's what takes so long 15 full games can take a long time the class setup that i recommend personally for doing this is going to be what ar you're most comfortable with it really doesn't make too much of a difference then same thing with perks like this challenge all you really got to do is use an ar it, the perks and stuff isn't going to make a huge big of a difference but the biggest recommendation i can offer you for this is play core and hardcore enemies have less health meaning you're going to need even more kills and it's just going to be really hard for you to get this challenge done in core so play whatever you're most comfortable with nuketown 24 7's game ending pretty quickly same thing face off 6v6 is how i would personally recommend doing this play about 15 different games and face off 6v6 and as long as you're getting a decent amount of kills you should be good to go now however when looking for a game always try to vote for team deathmatch or kill confirmed because domination is going to take a little bit longer and you want these matches to go as quick as possible unfortunately everyone else voted domination so that is what we're going to be playing in this video oh there we go now in cold war each enemy actually has more than 100 health so you don't even need to kill 10 full health enemies look we've been in here and you can tab and see the amount of damage as long as you're only using an ar you can actually see in this mode if you're playing domination how much damage you've done currently at 1000 400 so we've already met the requirement but just in case i'm still going to get a few more kills because you never never can be too safe than sorry and there's nothing else i have to work on but you aren't even going to need to get 10 full kills the one thing to keep an eye out for is if you uh just finish off an enemy that has like one health left that's only going to count for one health it's not really it's not really based on the amount of kills you have it's based on the amount of damage so even if you do like 95 percent of the health of an enemy and someone else finishes the kill that's fine you still got credit for 95 percent of that the whole goal of this is not getting kills it is just pure damage but uh no no matter what you shouldn't be struggling with this too much we've already got 17,000, and this game has a long way to go however if you do find yourself finishing these games and you're not getting enough you might want to go to a mode where the games last a little bit longer maybe search for just normal domination that could help you out but i feel like for the majority of people playing hardcore or playing core playing core 6v6 face off is what's going to guarantee you get this as quick as possible keep in mind you have to stay in for the full game so we've just got to kind of chill here for the rest of this but now let's go ahead move over to zombies and this is the method that i think is going to take you a lot less time because playing 15 full games is going to take you over two hours to do which is a decent amount of time like it the games just I mean, they're going to take even that's even if each game only takes eight minutes. Sometimes they're going to take even longer than that. Zombies, we're going to see how long it's going to take us. But I guarantee you it's going to be less than uh, two hours. And boom, now in zombies, the challenge reads off. Eliminate 750 enemies while using an AR that has been pack a punched three times. That sounds like a lot, but it's really not going to be too bad. The class setup I'm going to recommend for this is going to be the FFAR. This is the best AR in the entire game. The Vargo itself is pretty good, but it's still not quite as good as the FFAR. The uh, class setup, we're going to be running the Microflex, the muzzle, the flash guard, the barrel being the task force barrel, the body being the SWAT 5, under barrel being the infiltrator grip, magazine being the bottom one the handle being the speed tape and then the stock being the duster stock once again class it up not too important if you just want to slap on whatever you're probably going to be more than fine it doesn't make a huge difference in zombies but what i think is going to make a big difference is the mode and map you are going to be playing i personally am either going to be playing d machina or fire base z these two maps have really easy spots for you to get a lot of kills very very rapidly forsaken takes a little bit too long to set up and even still there's not spots that are, the spots on the other two maps 
maps aren't going to get you the kills as quickly. We're just going to go ahead and load into good old D Machina. And now once loaded in game, we're going to go ahead, turn on the Rampage Inducer. This is going to be a step that not everyone wants to do. This is obviously going to speed it up a lot. However, it is going to make it quite a bit harder. If you don't think you're going to be able to handle keeping the Rampage Inducer on the entire time, maybe don't do it. Try it. And if you struggle with it, just keep it off. But for me, at least we're going to be keeping the Rampage Inducer on the entire time. Also, we're going to be putting on Ring of Fire because that is going to help us in just a little bit here. I didn't say that in class setup, but luckily you can change that in game with no issues. This strat also works with multiple people. Really doesn't matter how many people are in your game. The first thing you obviously want to do is just get on top of Penthouse. This is where the spawns are going to be the absolute fastest. And you don't have to worry about getting kills with the AR right now because it doesn't matter until it's triple packs. So we're just going to build up points, open up the entire map because you have to open the map to pack a punch. That's legitimately it. So while I'm doing that, if you're new here and want to sub, I would greatly appreciate that. And on top of that, I got to give a massive thanks. Everybody give a like, comment, and watch this video in its entirety. Those three things massively help me and my channel out. All right, here we go. Round 19. Oh, rip, rip, rip. Finally able to get the third tier pack a punch, which is the first requirement go ahead slap that bad boy on we're rocking 537 kills meaning we need about 1300 kills to finish this challenge that only took me about 15 ish minutes to be able to get all that set up get it triple packed and i think it's going to take less than another 15 minutes to get the required 750 kills because at this point all we're going to do get up here on top of penthouse and we're just going to use a bunch of ring of fires uh we do have a little friend down there which is going to make it a little bit harder but we can start buying perks now i uh oh yeah yeah i prioritized pack a punching my weapon instead of buying perks because the quicker you can pack your weapon the quicker you can get the uh required kills with it being trip packed oh yeah bye bye margua but yeah, this, I think, will take under 30 minutes. If you're able to keep the Rampage Inducer on the entire time, this is going to take you less than 30 minutes. Whereas if you're doing the MP challenge, you're looking at 120 minutes. So it's going to be about one fourth of the time of the MP challenge. Even if you're not able to put the Rampage Inducer on, I still think you're going to be able to get this done. And ooh, we need to buy some more perks. I still think you're going to be able to get this done in under an hour. Because look at how quick we're getting this kills. Yeah, we need 750 kills but they are absolutely flying in right now. Go ahead, get the nuke. And then, ooh, what do we want now? I think we're gonna buy a little bit of dead shot. Oh, okay, there we go. Round 30, this ring of fire should be the final ring of fire needed. Come on, I know we just need about 13 hundred kills and we should be good to go i like how with death perception we're just looking at the menu still just frying through zombies no issue and we're out of ammo doesn't matter took us about i would say a little bit less than 30 minutes probably 25 minutes to accomplish that so yes a thousand percent recommend doing the zombies challenge over the mp challenge because the zombies challenge is just so much quicker especially if you can keep the rampage inducer on but even if you're not able to it's going to take you half the time that it takes to play mp because 15 full matches is an insane amount of time but with that boys we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up definitely let me know which way you intend to unlock the bargo are you going to buy the bundle you're going to play mp are you going to play zombies as always we're going to have any cold war or vanguard content on this channel we have a secondary channel we're uploading daily call of duty mobile and minecraft content and then we got a facebook page we're uploading exclusive content that i highly recommend you guys checking out thank you guys so much for watching and i cannot wait to go ahead and review that mastercraft bundle should be out later today and i'll see you guys in the next one peace oh hey there thank you for watching the entire video i've got to take this last moment here to give a huge thanks to everyone who can't twitch sub or a youtube member and extra special thanks to those who have taken above and beyond and became an unlock plus plus member on youtube we've got the 2x trader purple we've got the most op gobblegum ever round robin we have the hero arrow pharaoh and then we've got the absolute legend peyton perkins once again gotta get a huge thanks to all of them for becoming unlock plus plus members here on youtube